Welcome to Excel Array Formula Series number 11. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook. Excel Array Formula Series 1 to 14. Hey, trick number 11, I want to show you how to create consecutive numbers using an array formula. Now, this is something you can do in the worksheet itself, but also as you learn more about array formulas and build more complicated array formulas, the tricks we learn here will be of great benefit. Now, we're going to learn about the row and the column function. I want to highlight this range right here and type equals row, open parentheses. Let's try that again. <laughs> equals row, open parentheses. And I want to highlight the same number of cells right next to this range right here, close parentheses. Now, control shift and then tap enter. We've just entered an array form. You can see it up here. We have a range. We did control shift enter, and there's our curly brackets. Now, one thing that's interesting about this, we got the numbers 1 to 15. If you tried to right click and insert, it wouldn't let you because you cannot change part of an array. Similarly, if you right click delete, it wouldn't let you do that either. Let's say OK, and then it says you cannot change part of an array. Hey, the key, what's the keyboard shortcut for highlighting the whole array? Control forward slash. Now, let's try column. I'm going to scroll over here equals column, and I'm going to highlight this range just like that. Close parenthesis and control shift enter. All right, now that's if you want just the uh, row 10 because the row function looks at 10, 11, 12, 13, etc. But now I want to see how to uh, generate any group of numbers. We're going to do 1 through 12. And now 1 through 12 can be useful because a lot of times things in 12 like number of months for a budget or something you might need. I'm going to highlight the whole range right here. Equals row, open parentheses. And now I'm going to type 1 colon 12, close parentheses. Now you can't see that right there. You can see it up there. But 1 colon 12 says, hey, row 1 to 12. Then I'm going to control shift enter. And there we have our 1 through 12 very quickly. Now let's see a problem with this. And I'm going to show you a way to fix it. Because if you want everything to be updatable, which you usually want to do in Excel, if you have 1 to 12 here, right, and you use this cool array formula, but you come up to the first row, right click, insert, what happened right there? Uh-oh. Look at that. Because this is uh, looking at rows 1 to 13 and formulas update when you insert, in essence, you're moving this formula. Uh, it, it updates. So here, the next thing we're going to do is learn a trick to avoid that problem. Now, sometimes you maybe want that, but sometimes you don't. You want the, the numbers 1 to 12. Now, we're going to have to use the indirect function and the row function. Equals row, open parentheses, indirect. Now, we've seen this function in some other videos. Indirect takes uh, a text string and converts it to a uh, range, uh, a reference. So here in quotes, we're going to type 1 colon 112, end quote, close parentheses. Now that little part right there, this is text. So when we insert a row above row 1, this will not change because it's text. It's not a, an active cell reference. But the indirect function will actually convert that to a um, reference for the row function. I'm going to close parentheses and then Control Shift Enter. Now, when we go up to the top here, right click Insert, we can see that this one changed, but that one did not. Here, I'm going to uh, expand this column right here. Alt E A F to get rid of the formatting. Alt E A F. That gets rid of all the formatting. That's the function right there that will allow us to. Uh, not have the inserting of a row mess up our consecutive integers. Not only is it useful in the sheet, but later on as you learn more about array function, that is an excellent way to quickly create a string of numbers, an array of numbers, without actually having to type typing them all in like 1, 2, 3, 4, escape. All right, we'll see you next array trick.